Hi, this is Kylie Thompson, host of Food for Thought. Thanks for listening to the following podcast on Public House Media. Hello, my friend. Thanks for tuning in to Rewritten. You know I appreciate it. I say it every week. I say it every single time. It's so true. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you could screenshot this, upload it, tag me on Instagram at Julianne Condia. That would be so great. I definitely want to hear how this episode speaks to you. I hope that you are having a great week. I really do. I hope that you've been able to see the joy, count your blessings, find the gratitude, the good that is happening because there is a lot going on in the world. There's a lot. It's a lot. It's just a lot. But it also can be a lot of love and a lot of joy and a lot of gratitude. I definitely have my moments. And I'm also really grateful for the tools and habits I've made in my life in the last six years because I think it could be a lot harder. I really do. And so if it is hard for you, I think it could be harder. And I just admire you for tuning into personal development. I think the greatest weight we need to lose is between our ears. I've heard that before. I don't know if that was Ed Milet, but it stuck with me because it's so true. There's so many limitations and old habits and old ways of thinking and doubts that can fill our hearts and our minds and all the things. And I just think that you continuing to chip away at your growth is everything. I don't think that we ever arrive and we shouldn't. We continue to grow and it's not always easy. It is going to be hard, but it could always be harder. I can't help but think that personal development only helps you work through things. I can't help but think self-care only adds to making your life better, surrounding yourself with positive thinkers, doers, I think that only can help you be better. So if you're feeling stuck, this is something that I've talked to my team about is take a look around. Where is that? Where do you need results in your life right now? Do you need results with your health? Do you need results with your mindset? Do you need results with your social life? Do you need results with dot, dot, dot? being still, being calm. I was open to being more calm. I was open to growth. I was open to breakthrough. I was open to the process. And because I was open to that, I just started showing up each day with that. So friend, how would your best and highest self show up? Julie Boris, a coach in the network of Beachbody, said that, and that is something I think about in the morning. In the morning, when my alarm goes off, I also think about Jesus being at the foot of my bed, saying, hey, it's going to be a great day. We get to live it together. I I, I just picture him at the foot of my bed, and it just makes me wake up and not dread it. It makes me wake up purposeful, and then how would my best self show up right now? What does, what do I need for my best self right now to show up? It's not always easy. Sometimes you're tired, right? You just want more sleep, all the things, but it's all about purposeful thinking, purposeful action, and it's going to get you the results that you want. So I want to talk to you today about pillows. I don't want to be embarrassed by this. And so that is why I'm just putting it out there. It is so ridiculous. I don't know if it's from my childhood and survival mentality that we didn't have a lot and we were grateful for what we did have. And my mom would always said it, she'd always say, it could be worse somewhere else. At least we have a roof over our head. You know, at least we have clothes on our bodies and they weren't the best clothes. We didn't have the best furniture. None of it was ever new or nice or comfortable or anything like that. But it didn't matter because we found gratitude through that. So I want to talk to you today about my pillow. It's amazing to me, actually, that Eric, maybe it's because he's a nine on the Enneagram and doesn't say anything, but I don't know how he's gone this long with the pillows that we have on our bed. (laughs) They're gross. And we do wash. 
I want to preface this. We do wash our bedding regularly because Wyatt sleeps in our bed, but oh my goodness, our pillows are so bad. They are the flattest of flat of flat pillows, the flatter than a pancake of pillows. They are so thin and they didn't start out like that. But I think my survival mentality is, well, at least we have a pillow, right? I really do think that, that I am learning, the whole point of this is I am learning to reprogram my brain because I'm very simplistic. I'm grateful for having food in my fridge. I'm not even kidding. And this is all going to dreaming bigger, right? Because I was open to more income in my life and the job that I had didn't allow for that. There wasn't going to be growth for that. And that stressed me out thinking about the future I wanted. I wanted travel in my future. I wanted kids in my future, but I didn't want debt in my future or my kids' future. So I started thinking like that. I'm a future thinker. I'm an eight. And the job that I had just didn't allow for that, which was really frustrating. And so I was just open to more income. And that is why I started Beach Body Coaching is because I wanted to be around a better conversation, meaning women, I needed support. Women were goal setting together and reflecting on their week and just the way that they were thinking about things. And I, it wasn't that teacher talk and I just was really loving that. And so I was open to more income, which completely, utterly transformed my thinking of what was possible in my life coming from nothing. And on my way, six years now, we're a full-time family through our own hard work, skill, and diligence, right? Is that our pillows are the thinnest pillows of all time, but that is my survival mentality that you buy the cheapest sheets because they're sheets, It doesn't matter. At least you have sheets on your bed. And now I'm starting to realize that I need to level up in my own life and have better way of thinking of quality too, because I'm always like cost per wear. And I literally had one pair of tennis shoes until a few weeks ago because I forgot a pair of tennis shoes going to Lake Tahoe and Eric had to go buy me a pair. And so now I have two pairs of tennis shoes. It's crazy. And two, you might be like rolling your eyes, but I just, this, where do you need to level up in your life? Where do you need to expand some paradigms of breakthrough, not expand them to make them bigger, but really expand your eyes open to what paradigms you have in your life and what limitations you're putting on. I feel like I've had so much growth in the last six years. These dang pillows were hurting my neck. My body was hurting. I'm serious. I probably have been talking about these pillows for months now about, I just, oh, I don't like it. And then one day I just was like, you know what? I'm going to buy myself some new pillows, which to you might be a duh thing, but you need to understand it's super easy to stay complacent. It's super easy to stay in the complain. It's super easy to stay in the stuck. You can relate this pillow to anything, your body. You can relate it to your job. You can relate it to your finances. You can relate it to whatever you want. And so I decided to buy new pillows. But the best part about this is that what would someone average do? They would just buy the cheapest thing or the thing that would just, it is what it is. I'm thinking I want the best quality because I spend half my life sleeping. I want the best. I'm willing to invest in the best. I'm willing to invest in my self-care. I'm willing to invest in my journey of health and wellness. I'm going to invest in some nice pillows. And you know what? I'm going to buy new sheets. I'm going to buy fleece sheets. I'm going to buy a whole new set. And it's going to be nice thread count because I spend half my life sleeping. So, friend, in your life, where do you need to invest more instead of the the cheapened version? And I think about this with our bodies. It's so easy to work out three times a week instead of six. I always thought that was the goal. Go to the gym three days a week. You're crushing it. Our body needs to move every single day, whether it's in recovery workouts, it doesn't have to be intense. Are you just drinking 30 ounces of water? Our body, your life will transform, your energy will transform if you simply have 70 ounces of water a day. You will will have a surge of new energy. Your skin will feel better. It is so wild to think about how we can get so complacent on the things in our life and just complain about it and have a hurt neck. And then one day I woke up and decided, I'm not going to do this the cut corner way. 
I'm not going to do this the cheapest way, the easiest way. I'm going to do this the best way. And I think about my journey in the last six years of the business that we've been honored, blessed, grateful, didn't happen by accident. It wasn't luck. It was definitely a lot of grit, hard work, and and continuing to show up when it would have been easy not to. But I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to pretend like I invested a million dollars into a business that was $160 that helped me lose 35 pounds a healthy way and keep it off and have a healthy TTC journey and pregnancy journey and postpartum journey and mindset and surround me around incredible people. I'm going to treat this like a lot bigger deal. Our lives are a really big deal and we need to tune it up. We need to adjust. We need to get some new pillows and not the cheap ones, but something that is of good quality. So are you spending most of your time in Netflix or if you were just to pick up one book, The Compound Effect, The Obstacle is the Way, Failing Forward, The Energy Bus, The Charge, You Are a Badass, pick up one book. It could change everything. Friend, I'm rooting for you. This is just a good gut check of get the nice pillow because you spend half your life sleeping. Make the investment. Go for the dream and not half-ass it, but fully and treat it like you invested a million dollars. Where in your life right now are you complacent? Cutting corners, half giving it, Where can you tune it up? Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'm really excited. I am pumped to next level November my life, meaning level up. And if this is something that you need, you need on-demand workouts, you need better nutrition, you need a mindset that gets rid of the weight that's going on in your brain, you want to collaborate, you're open to more income, you're open to a better conversation. Let's chat. I would love to talk to you about it. Friend, have the most incredible rest of your week and know that I'm always rooting for you. Please rate and review this podcast. My heart would be so happy. Thank you so much for tuning in.